and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carling Gaming Pokemon Leaf Green Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge. In today's episode, we are going to make our way back to Lavender Town and hopefully uh, we're going to have a battle. Well, not hopefully, we're definitely going to have a battle with Peaches, who I think we are a little over leveled for. I think the game expects you to arrive in Lavender Town and be like, ooh, Pokemon Tower, oh my god, rival! But uh, we did it out of order, so we should be sufficiently leveled to uh, wipe the smile off of Peach's uh, dumb face, but uh, then we're gonna make our way and get the Poke Flute. Uh, also, I'm gonna, before we do that here, while I while I talk, I'm gonna um, go do something. I You guys reminded me that I can actually go to Cerulean City and do some fishing in Misty's gym to get our Cerulean City um, encounter. So, that's exciting. I totally forgot about that. I was trying to think of everywhere you could fish. I totally forgot about the gym. So in order to do that, I do uh, have to um, move some Pokemon around here. I have to get Disappoint. Uh, okay, here we go. Whoops, sorry. What did I have to do? Because he has Fly. Uh, I hate to bench anyone for Disappoint, but I'll, I'll, I'll just shift Data real quick right here. So Data, you will be right back. I, I do, not, do not you worry, good sir. You're coming back. I just need a Fly, I'm sorry. Um, I also, you guys keep reminding me that maybe I need to get the bike. I don't even remember if I got it or not, but we will need it for cycling road just to be able to move. Um, I don't even think about the bike on these runs because uh, you have the, I, I can just use the turbo button here. So first things first, let's go make sure I got it because I know I got the bike voucher. Da, 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 da. Yeah, okay. I do have the bike. I thought I'd gotten it. I think I got it off screen, which is maybe why you guys keep reminding me, but we have the bike. That's fine. Um, let's see, Pokemon, let's go, to, let's put, um, Sporkles out front. I have no idea what level anything in the gym might be. Obviously, we're gonna use our so trusted technique of, um, Paralyze, Instant Transmission, Critical Hit, Quick Attack, right? That's been working for us. That has, n has not failed us yet. So let's see what we can catch in this. Uh, water here for our Cerulean City capture. If I can find the old rod. It'd be interesting if all of the Magikarp were replaced by Polyraths. And uh, <laughs> we got yet another one. That'd be kind of funny. Not even a nibble, come on now. Yes, there are. There are Pokemon in this water. I can catch stuff in the gym, right? Am I wrong? Can you not catch stuff in the gym here? I thought the old rod always caught something and it was always... Come on now. What? Is this, is this a, is this a yoke? Do I need the good rod to fish here? I don't think so. Not even a nibble. You are joking me. Maybe you can't do it in the emulator or something. I'm pretty sure you can catch Pokemon in this gym. This is, this is redonkulous though. Well, maybe you can't, or maybe I am just getting severely unlucky, but I don't think that's the case. It seems like maybe you just can't do it. We'll do one more shot. Um, or maybe you guys can tell me what I'm doing wrong. I'm pretty sure you should. this should work. It's always felt to me like there shouldn't be Pokemon in the pool water, but oh well. Okay, so that, uh, I guess we cannot catch anything. While we're here, uh, you guys have been asking me to check in on Blitz. Let's go do that, just see how many levels... Blitz the Vulpix has picked up here in the daycare, right? Let's see, hi. I'd say nine. Okay, so I don't remember what level we caught it at. I think it was at level 15. So that should make it about 24. Uh, even with Kafu the Caterpie there. All right, now we're gonna uh, fly back. Look at this, we can just fly over to Lavender Town. We don't even have to go back to Celadon, boom. Okay, so. I'm gonna go switch Pokemon here and talk about the species clause or the dupes clause as people call it. So um, there's been some confusion. There's been some confusion because like we caught Pidgeotto even though we caught Livid and we caught uh, Jigglypuff even though we had Wigglytuff. And a lot of people are informing me in the comments that that's not how the dupes clause work. If you caught anything in the line, you, that that doesn't count. And people are reporting species clause, dupes clause, let me, guys. I know how the rules work. Okay, like I'm not, I am not misremembering the rules. This is how my version 
of the rules work, is that when you encounter the wild Pokemon, unless it has the little Pokeball next to it, meaning it's already in your Pokedex, it is a legal catch. So, hey, what's up? Ben just got here. Hey. How's it going? We're Nuzlocke. Nice. Yeah. Anything exciting happen yet? No, not yet. We're about to fight Peaches, though. Whoa. Yeah. Go Peaches. I mean, No, not Jay. Peaches. Yeah. God, what? What? What is this? Um. Where was I? <laughs> Rules. That's right. We're talking about the, the dupes clause. So, ah. Uh, I understand why some people are like, no, it's, it's better if you use the species clause or like the idea that if you have anything in the line, you, you're not like caught off guard by it. It's by design, you guys, because the point is that you would have to use Pokemon you wouldn't normally use in a regular run. And the thing is, you would probably in a regular run not use two of the same Pokemon. Uh, so if you're forced to do that, then that's part of the challenge. And um, you would think with a randomizer, it shouldn't come into play. I cannot believe it came into play twice in the last episode, but it did. But that's there. It's by design. Another thing you guys were asking about is the uh, is what some people play with. I think it's called the static clause, uh, where if a Pokemon like Snorlax is static, it doesn't count towards your first encounter because you're forced to run into it. But we're not forced to run into it first. You know what I mean? Like Snorlax is blocking the way, but there's other Pokemon on the route we could still catch. So I, I don't play with a static clause. If it's static and I want to catch it, I have to make sure it is the first thing on the route. So a lot of people do that to preserve like legendary catches. Um, I've never done that. If we ever wanted to catch a static Pokemon and make sure it's our first encounter, we have to take uh, steps to ensure that it's our first encounter. Um, even way back to the very first Nuzlocke I ever did, um, on uh, Fire Red, we caught an Articuno and I had to use max repels all the way through the Seafoam Caves to make sure Articuno was my first encounter. So it does make you work for it and that's also by design. So the static encounters do count towards your first encounter, which means the Snorlax over in Celadon, we can no longer catch because we already caught something on that route. The Snorlax down by Vermilion City, however, still fair game. Uh, it's gonna be a bummer if in fact, I don't know how the randomizer is gonna treat the Snorlaxes, if it's gonna like, if they're potential legendaries, it's gonna be a real bummer if we got that Stantler when we could have caught a legendary. Um, but only time will tell. So uh, that's gonna be that's how that'll work. The Marowak in this in this um, Pokemon Tower, similar situation. Um, that unless we wanted to go repel our way to the top of the tower, which is uh, <laughs> funny when you think of the other meaning of repel. Um, It'll just be whatever we run into first. So actually, speaking of which, we're about to go fight Peaches. Let's, I'm gonna, I was sitting, let's. Let's lead with Cece, just so we can throw that Intimidate on whatever's there. Also, Cece's pretty strong right now. Um, so there's that. Here we go, here we go. Fight with Peaches. Incoming. Boom, let's go. I'm hey Jay, what brings you here? Is your Pokemon dead? <laughs> hey, it's alive, I can make I could at least make them faint. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Um, I know you're just making a joke, but uh, death is actually on the line, Peaches. So execute. Interesting. Okay, so he's leading with grass because he he must be studying our team. Knows that we are weak to grass. Not, not necessarily weak to grass, but we're not great at grass. However, he has um, miscalculated because we can use Bite on this Execute. No problem, and CC's wrecking it. Also, we're nine levels higher. Also, <laughs> he flinched, so your strategy is failing, you peaches. CC is wrecking lately. On a serious high after just a uh, serious high. Oh, oh, he's got a Meganium. He is going big grass. Look at this. Oh, you sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Mmm. Let's do, okay, so grass is special. So I was gonna say maybe we could try and charm it, but I don't think that really matters. The good news is that we are significantly higher level. I'm gonna switch to Dracus to resist the grass and use Aerial Ace. There we go, here we go. Fang unit Dracus in the house. Oh, ooh, ooh, we went for the poison, but mighty Dracus. Look at her, dodging the, the cloud of poison, even though she is in the Shelgon state. Okay, so here we go. Let's go uh, Aerial Ace for the wreck. Maybe we'll get another level. Oh, so close. Went for the Razor Leaf. This should be no problem. It could crit us, but I'm not that concerned. Woo, it did crit. But uh, as you can see, 
We are fine. We survived it. Dracus with the kill. Should get a level here. Right? Boom. And the countdown continues. Oh, no! No, we didn't get the level. Okay, well, we... Look at this! Three grass types! He... Oh, my God! Peaches is like... Is Peaches watching us? He's like seeing all of our fights. He's like, they don't have anything for grass. They don't have anything for grass, except they're wrong. We have Dracus. There it is. One shot that cactus. Take that. You dead. Boom. Dead ha. <laughs> There's level 32. 18 to get Riley. I think anytime Dracus evolves, we should put the the countdown on the, just a big 18 on the screen so we know how close, how many levels away we are from say laments, which is level 50. Skip Bloom, look at this nonsense. What is going on? Every one of his Pokemon is grass. This is, that wasn't the case last time. He wasn't a monotype trainer last time, right? He Cause he's still gonna have the Pidgeotto. Or maybe he's got Pidgeot by now. Let's find out. Where's his big ace? There's his Pidgeotto. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Thinks he's tough stuff. Let's see if Dracus can just knock this thing down for the win. Go for the headbutt. Maybe we get a flinch. Flinched! Oh, look at that. His ace Pidgeotto is the true disappointment of his team. Wow. Otherwise, all grass. I don't know if that was complete random or if the if, if this was treating Peaches like a monotype trainer. Wow, you stinker. I took it easy on you, too. Okay, yeah, sure you did. Sure you did. Just got a cue bone. I can't find the bigger Marowak. Where could they be? I bet there aren't any left. Well, better get going. Got a lot to accomplish, unlike you. Smell you later. You just lost for like the fourth time in a row, hombre. Okay, so maybe check yourself. Maybe check. Okay, I was like, oh, maybe we shouldn't leave with Sporkles because Quick Attack won't work. But of course Quick Attack will work because uh, we don't know. I keep like, it is so easy to forget the randomizer. Like Lavender Town and Ghosts are so ingrained in my brain. I'm like, what? Okay, Ghastly, here we go. It's almost always Ghastly what you catch in here, but who knows what we're gonna catch. This is gonna be our encounter for the Pokemon Tower. Are you ready? Let's see what's it gonna be. What's it gonna be? Oh, okay, what can we catch? What can we catch? Oh, here we go. It's a Beldum. That is tempting, you guys. That is very tempting. Oh goodness, oh goodness. Okay, so first of all, for sure gonna go with the Thunder Wave. Yeah, mmm, a Beldum. Oh, 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 I could feel the Metagross in the wings, you guys, hit with recoil, okay. Um, the, the downside is that it's level 15. Ooh, this is very good, you guys, this is good. This is a good one, this one's hard to say no to, because Metagross is very good. Uh, this would be, if we had Salem, it's Ed Metagross, that's like, if, if I, mm, that's pretty good, pretty good. Um, the only downside is that I'm not sure what we can hit it with, like it, oh, we only have nine Pokeballs, God, as ever. I have forgotten, okay, here's the thing, here's the thing, Sh can't, what can we possibly hit it with? is the problem. Like, I am very afraid to hit it with our mighty instant transmission quick attack here. Um, it's paralyzed, but it's level 15 and it's a Beldum, so I feel like it's not going to go down easy to a uh, Pokeball. Let's see, is there anything else so we could hit it with? I think, okay, this could work, but it's very risky, right? We could leech seed it, which will take little bits of its health away and make it a little bit easier to kill or easier to catch. However, it will eventually kill it. So if we miss, that would be dangerous. Let's, okay, let's try this. That, mi that might be our only option though, because I'm not sure what we could hit it. Well, like, we could try the quick attack because I think Beldum has high defense, but that feels so risky because we're 16 levels higher and we, how many Pokemon has Sporkles knocked out? Oh, this is... Okay, let's try a Pokeball. We'll just see. We'll just see. Maybe we'll just get lucky, and this Beldum is like, I want on team. No, that didn't happen. Okay. It's paralyzed. Okay. I think we're going to have to go with the Leech Seed. It makes me very nervous, but... Uh, yeah. Okay, Moirin. Get out here. Oh, this would be such a good catch, though. 
I cannot believe I forgot to go get Pokeballs. I mean, I can because, you know, it's me. And that's how this run is going. Okay, it's done. So here we go. Now, if I recall, Leech Seed does one-tenth of the health every turn. So there's that. And, oh, uh, the, I see, like, I really wish I knew about the quick attack because that would, I like, I can't, 16 levels higher. We should have come in here. Ah, uh, but then we would have to fight Peaches. Let's go to, he's also using takedown, which is hurting um, himself. And we honestly don't want him to hurt himself too much right now. Let's go to CC to throw the Intimidate on. Clear body prevents Intimidate from working. Okay, well, that's interesting to know. So anyway, here we go. And there's going to be the uh, Leech Seed again. So at this point, we may as well just start hucking Pokeballs because we've done about as much as we can do. And the clock is ticking on the Leech Seed. The stress is real. Can we catch the Beldum? Mm, oh no, we're gonna whiff. I can already feel it. This is bad. Ple oh gosh, and he's using the. Okay, okay. Each seed is good. It's helping. Go, Pokeball. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. I so badly want it. I so badly want it. I so badly want it. Oh no. It's not even close. It's paralyzed. Okay. There it goes. A little bit weaker. Every time it's just a little bit weaker. I think it'll die before we run out of Pokeballs, so we just need to keep throwing. Oh no. Oh no, why didn't I get Great Balls? The Metagross is right here. Come on, come on. It's within our grasp. It's within our grasp. I'm so nervous. Five Pokeballs. Here we go, come on, come on, Beldum. Come on, get at the Pokeball, stay in the Pokeball. No, it hasn't even rocked once yet. This is so bad, we're gonna lose it. We should have gotten great balls. I for oh no, I'm gonna feel so bad. Oh, my stomach hurts, my stomach hurts. No, 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 come on, come on. Please, 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 please. No, it still hasn't rocked even once, oh no. Oh, we're not gonna get it. Oh no, this is terrible. The leech is gonna kill it. Should we have quick attacked? You guys, you guys know how powerful mining is. Oh no, please, 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 please. No! Oh no, is this gonna be, do we have one more? Do we have one more? One more. Don't kill it. Don't kill it, one more shot. <gasps> this is as good as we could have hoped for, but this is bad then. We're gonna miss the Beldum. No, not Beldum. <sighs> yes, seriously not Beldum though. This is our last chance. If we don't, it had the poke. We've thrown, I think, uh, seven Pokeballs and it hasn't rocked once. You it's, know what? Eighth time's a charm. Eight times a charm. Quality eighth place. Oh, it's not gonna work. We're not gonna catch it. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, it's gonna kill itself now. Oh, that's a disappointment. That is a disappointment. That is, no, oh, I can't, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. If that had been a great ball, I would have freaked out. Oh, I'm so mad. We missed the Beldum. That's, that's maybe the most painful one yet, you guys. That's maybe the most painful one yet. Uh, I was just thinking about peaches and not about you know who I'm gonna lead with is Data. Because I want Data to evolve. And we're very close with Data. Very close. A wheezing! Wheezing could explode. Or it could get water pulsed. And Data could get a level. Oh. Man, I'm so mad. I can't believe that. Ah, Beldum. I could have had Metagross, you guys. Hmm. That's painful. It's truly painful. Why did I stay in? Now I'm not thinking. Oh God, oh God, absorb. Oh boy. Okay, you got it, Data. You got this. Ooh, that was way more effective than I would have liked it to be. 
All right, let's switch out here. We're gonna move into Dracus. Ah, <sighs> there's the Stun Spore. Okay, Aerial Ace. Magic Leaf. Boy, okay, so speaking of Magic Leaf, let me guys give you a bit of a team update. 31 for data, that's awesome. Um, I will say that having defeated Boss Rocket, uh, pretty good. CC did some more work there, that was great. Um, and it, I, I think CC's calmed down a little bit after the Grass Gym, which is good. Not, starting to, starting to get back on Dracus's level in terms of like accepting sort of like the, the role they serve on the team as Fang Unit Dracus, which is um, to be a very deadly one-two punch. But um, as much as Dracus, Dracus is like right there, ready. You know, it's not like Dracus wouldn't lead if given the opportunity, but it's just Happy's here. And Happy's been around and Happy's been crushing it and it's been great. And I think even just Dracus has been able to see how much more data has been thriving now that um, he's been hanging out with Sparkles and Happy so much, and like, it's it's Dracus is starting to understand the the team the value of the team. Moirin, however, I mean, not that Moirin's not like a valuable team member, just very much on the like, still just like, look how great. It, oh, look at this, a Sunkern. Wow, like, talk about worst Pokemon. Um, it's a Roar Beam. Let's just get some free XP. Yeah, why not? Uh the Beldum. It hurts. It hurts. That would have been so good. I don't know who we would have taken off the team. I mean, there's that, but... Oh, there's a Metagross in here too, you guys. What is happening? We definitely couldn't have caught that, but we could have quick attacked it. I would have felt much better about that. Oh, it hurts to know that they were right. They were here. This is, they've replaced the, like the, the Ghastlies and the Haunters with Beldums and Metagrosses, and it's so, oh, it's painful. They're tormenting us. Ah, uh, ah, uh, come on. We could have, it could have been, it could have been us. 270, okay. It could have been us. It could have been us. Come on, dude. Who, who, beat me not. Yeah, well, we'll see. Oh, and she has a scissor. This is like the Tower of... It's, well, I was going to say this tower is like haunting me, but that is sort of the point, isn't it? Oh, how dare you use Scizor against me. This is just a painful. False swipe. He's got, they're like, they're literally taunting me. If you don't know what false swipe does, it's a move that can't kill the opponent. It will always leave them at one HP. It's amazing for catching Pokemon. And it's just taunting me. It's like, hey, don't you wish you had false swipe? <laughs> Yes, I do. Oh, take that, Chandler. Great ball. Oh. The game is literally taunting me. It's like, oh, hey, don't you wish you'd had this great ball? I bet you do. <laughs> it rocked that one time, and I had such hope for one second, and then the bell to broke free. Oh, it's Celio. Okay, you want to go seal on seal here? That's fine. We're actually gonna switch to Sparkles though, because uh, we're just gonna. Oh, Ice Ball. Okay. Let's go. Spark, Mighty Spark, man. Now I'm just always gonna wonder whether or not the Quick Attack would have been the right answer. So often it hasn't been. We should have tried it. We should have tried it. Eldon has such high defense. We went for the leech seat. It doesn't matter. You know what? We're just, we can't sit here and dwell on what could have been. Let's talk about Moirin. <laughs> Moirin, I think has been, not only is like so, you know, uh, not, what do you, I would say the opposite, what's the opposite of humble? Not humble. <laughs> just, I think, is very self-assured and then also has Magic Leaf, which is an attack that can't miss. So it's like, I think Morin feels like he doesn't have to do as much practice or doesn't need to train as much because like, can't miss, like pff, Magic Leaf, whatever. You know what I mean? It's, we gotta, we gotta work on that. We're gonna water post this PL. You know. Ugh. We're gonna go down here into the Purified Zone and uh, fully heal ourselves, cleanse tag. I think that improves the power of ghost type moves. We're gonna go fight this girl. You shall join us. Okay, what is wrong with these people? 
Oh, well, we don't want to fight this Electrak, do we? All right, Moirin, get out there and uh, do some fighting. Quick attack. Let's get. Let's see the Magic Leaf. How's it doing? Well, it is good. Okay, see? See the problem, though? This is just fueling right into Moirin's overconfidence. Overconfidence gets you killed in this world, okay? And I mean it. You miss out on Beldums because you're like, yeah, let's just go catch something. We caught four things a couple episodes ago. And you, then, then you run into a Beldum and just lose it all. Everything's the worst. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We are... Not, we're just gonna, we're just gonna move on and we're gonna, we're not gonna, we're not gonna dwell on it as I revisit it for the fourth time this episode. Oh, a Pichu! Hey, remember when we didn't catch a Pichu? The game does, because this tower is determined to remind us of all of our failures. Smooch em. Okay, we can fight this thing. Headbutt! Yeah. Data is butt. One. No, two levels away, I think, from evolving. Can we get it in the tower? I think we can. I think if we get a dugong, I'm still calling that a pretty good victory. We're going to switch out to Moirin here, who's going to wreck this water electric chin chow. Yeah, thanks for the watering. We enjoy the watering. Show him the magic leaf. Uh, dead. Well done, Moirin. Well done. Your mighty leech seed has taken a victim today. It's the first time we've even used Leech Seed. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? And that's what that, oh, a Kabuto. Look at all the cool things we could have caught in this in this tower, but didn't. It doesn't matter. I still, I mean, the Metagross would have been cool. I wouldn't have, I, like, the fact that it was the, if it had been a, a Metagross and we hadn't caught it because all we had was Pokeballs, I'd have been like, well, yeah, of course. I mean, it's third stage. What are we gonna do with Pokeballs? But it was the first stage. It seemed possible. Not possible, but obviously it wasn't. Give me that. Maybe that'll be the title of the episode. People will be like, "Oh no!" <laughs> Look, another uh, <coughs> another uh, Chin Chow line. Let's go magically. Oh yeah, it's dead. Boom, dead leaf. Ella kid. Oh, so it's an electric trainer. Um, yeah, we're gonna stick here. We're gonna keep go. Oh, Thunder Punch. There we go. Who would we have taken off for the Beldum? That's maybe we should just um, feel feel better about that. Like now we don't have to worry about it because we didn't catch it. We don't even we don't even need to worry about it. More level thirty one. Yeah, yeah. All right, great. Here we go. Kick, kick, kick. I should. Why didn't I? Well, it doesn't matter. Oh, Executor? No problem. We have answers for you. We're gonna, well, yeah. Mm, no, we're gonna go to Dracus. That's who we go to for this. Dracus is our Executor Slayer. Hypnosis, how dare you? Oh, but we have a Chesto Berry. Look at that, well done, Dracus. I completely forgot about that, but you did not. There's a Stomp. Look at Dracus just rolling off the Stomps in a way that only Dracus could. Shaking them off, well done. Do we need to paralyze heal someone? I think we do. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, Data. By the way, speaking of, um, man, they're all, are they all electric trainers? What is going on? That hasn't been the case before that like a single kind of trainer has been entirely replaced by an entire kind of trainer gonna magic leave this thing it's going down we could also use um track to take this thing um in the last in the last episode we aired I actually um i saw some people were uh signing up for members to be like a member on the channel which if you did thank you so much that's very generous of you um but I just I wanted to make sure that those things were being fulfilled so i have updated all of our member uh rewards which are basically that <coughs> You get the little, uh, you will get a Sporkles next to your name in the chat or in the comments below if you are a member. And you will get access to uh, channel exclusive emojis. So, oh, a rare candy. That's awesome. I made, um, lantern. So I've made a lot of emojis for the team. I think there is a, um, a data gang emoji. So you should just be able to type colon SCG and then all of them will pop up if you're a member. Um, and you can do data gang, you can do 
uh, Thang Unit Dracus. You can do um, Happy, which shows uh, Happy's back sprite with the sensor bar. Um, what else do we have? Uh, bup, 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 bup. Oh, here we go. Anyway, well, there's a few more. <laughs> I just made them yesterday. I already forgot what they are. Uh, but those are the ones there. Let's see what the ghost is with our Sylph scope. Oh, it's still Marowak. That's interesting. Okay, that makes me wonder if the um, if the static encounters will still be Snorlaxes. I don't. They shouldn't be. I'm surprised this is still Marowak though. Um, we're just gonna water pulse it. And try. That did a lot of damage, and I flinched. That's not good at all. We're gonna switch to CC and get an intimidate on that thing. Use Leer. Okay, it lowered our defense though, so it sort of uh counteracted that. Let's go for the tackle. Dead butt. Whoa! The crit on this thing! Oh, goodness. What is happening? Okay. We're gonna switch to Dracus then, because then our defense will not be lowered, and your attack will still be lowered, and we have a high defense. Alright, teamwork, guys. Teamwork makes the dream work. Let's go. Aerial Ace. Oh! This thing! What is this thing? It is survival. Let's headbutt it back. Okay, whoa, got our own critical head, but well done, Dracus. My goodness, I think we would have been fine if Data could have hit it twice with Water Pulse, but man, that initial headbutt was rough stuffington. Whew. Okay, yeah, let's uh use some heals. Nope. Uh, I'm gonna go on uh, there. Data. Okay. Man, that was <clears throat> not cool. Now we have these rockets to fight. Let's see how we do against them. What do you want? Why are you here? What are they going to have? Hmm? can't believe how good that Marowak was. Glad we leveled up for that fight. Jeez, we are about to get destroyed. Oh, look. Sneasel. Like Alberta, our Sneasel. Yeah, this is this is Data's matchup, isn't it? Data versus Sneasel. We got we to gotta keep him in. The choice was once there. Should we go Sneasel? Should we go Data? We went with Data. Now Data has to overcome that. These faint attacks are not hitting weakly. Although that first one was a crit. Quick attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your quick attack's not as good as our instant transmission quick attack. There's Sneasel. Boom. Smell. Okay, so this guy's an ice type trainer. Um, I'm going to switch now to Sporkles to clean up here. Aurora Beam. No, oh, attack fell. Not that it's gonna matter, because Spark is special. I am dead. Boom, dead, Spork. Data got some, yep. And the Swin up. Oh, okay, so we're actually gonna switch back to Data then. Here we go. Actually, that's not, that's not the move, right? That's not the one, gosh, sheer cold. I keep seeing Powder Snow and be like, Ugh, but it's sheer cold. That's what we have to watch out for. I'm not even, oh, Endure. Okay, so that lets him live basically no matter what. It worked. That's good for you, I suppose. But will it have been enough? You can't Endure twice in a row. No, no, no. See? No, no, no. I'm not going to forget this. There's some really funny strategy you can do with like uh, like a level two Rattata or something where I think you put a focus sash on it and you use, what is the move? I don't remember. It like lowers your opponent's health to match your health and the focus sash will stop you from dying at one health if you get like one hit KO'd. So of course you get one hit KO'd, you bring yourself down to one, then your attack brings them down to one, and then you quick attack them, and then you can like take down level 100 stuff because you use a priority move. That's really funny. Anyway. There we go. Easy matchup. Oh! I say easy. You'd think a water pulse would have taken this down from six levels up with stab and type advantage. What is with the Koalaba here? Can't stop. So it's gonna be a fire trainer, by the way. Couldn't tell. Did go to 33. All right, we got um, smoke screen though, and we're a little low on health, so I'm gonna switch to Happy. Gotta get, gotta let Happy flex the glutes in this episode. Am I right? Don't get poisoned. Yeah, you got poisoned. All right, well, Magmars are just tricky like that. Water gun. We gotta get Happy a better water type move, you guys. It is 
hurt by poison. Okay. Because it is becoming a real issue. Oh, gosh. Okay. I was a little worried if he was going to have a, another one, because like, that poison might add up on us, but we're good. We have a... Uh, do we not have more? At least antidote, right? Yeah, get that on there. And then... Gosh, we're low on potions and we're low. Man, I did not stock up before coming here. I was so concerned about Peaches. This is the real damage Peaches is doing. He psyched me out. He psyched me out. Let's lead. Let's just lead with Sporkles because Sporkles is always a good lead. Final fight of the tower. Let's see. What do they got? Four Pokemon though. Okay, yeah. Hopefully is water and not poison. Yeah, Sporkles for the kill. Get that easy XP. No, it's poison though. Okay, so... Not a huge deal. Let's try and spark it anyway. Hmm. Oh, and we're poisoned. No! Oh, I don't like that one bit. Okay, let's go to... Uh, mm, CC? Fighting is good against poison. But we're damaged. Morrowind can't be poisoned. And can heal on switch out and will resist. So let's go to Morrowind real quick. And let's leech seed. Yeah. Use your mighty... Oh, gosh. I did more than I wanted. And let's just magic leaf this. Oh, let's try cut. Ah! <gasps> oh, my gosh. This is bad. We're going to have to switch. <clears throat> okay. Um, let's go to happy. Let's go to happy. This thing is at least leech seated. We've got a little health back. That's nice. Um, I wish we could build our own. Oh, we have brick break. I forgot we gave you brick break. Okay, we're good. I thought CC had Brick Break. Is, did I, am I misremembering that? Um, brick Break? Not very effective stunts, but we are getting all of the status effects. But look at that, the Cherry Berry coming in hot. There we go. Look at our berries. I forgot we gave everyone. Helping everyone out. And there's a Beedrill. Okay. Okay, no big deal. Not that concerned about this one. It's just water gun this thing down. Focus Energy. Okay, it's trying to get some crits, but it's not going to matter because it's going to die after one more water gun. And whew, that was a scary final fight. This is about as close as anyone's come to dying in a while. Which I have to say, we are this team, I must say, are they at the very least, no one's died. That has been unbelievable. To be this far in, and the only thing we've lost is uh livid. Pretty impressive for the team at large. Here we go. Mr. J, your Pokedex quest is one that requires strong dedication. Without deep love for Pokemon, your quest may fail. <clears throat> okay, hold on. Who's hurt? Sporkles? Okay. Sporkles is poisoned. We're going to go heal before anything terrible happens. I don't think it'll let you die while you're walking around like that, but it can bring you down. Anyway, we did it. We got the Pokemon flute. So, we made it. We missed the Beldum. That was terrible. We learned that the Marowak was still a Marowak. Either that was super duper unrandom and the game didn't change it, or it was extremely randomly the same thing, which would have been even more impressive. But I think next episode, we're going to make our way down to try and uh, catch the other would-be Snorlax static encounter. We're going to find out what it would be down there. That's our next quest. Um, thank you so much to everyone for watching today's episode don't forget to leave a comment so that you might have a pokemon named after you uh don't forget to like the video it is seriously the easiest thing you can do that helps the channel and the video get seen by more people that's awesome hit that subscribe button and until next time bye <laughs>